done with winter yet. You know, temps are going to fall once again. There's snow in the forecast, but that doesn't mean we can't get a jump start on gardening. If you're really itching to get out, well, you can start inside. Richard Gladwin is back from our partners at Farmers, uh, Farmer John's uh, Home and Garden. Good to see you. Good to be here. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. Yep. So I'm looking at what looks to me like oversized tater tots with green stuff coming out. What is going on? This <laughs> well, this is one of the easiest ways to to start your plants earlier so that they're ready to put in the ground when the frost breaks in Michigan, okay. who knows when that's going to be. <laughs> um, pretty much you start out with, um, it's a large tray like this, and it actually okay. has these small little pellets uh, that are made of cocoa fiber. You soak these in warm water for about 10 minutes, let the excess run off, and they expand to what you have in your hand there. Okay. And then you just drop your seed in the center hole and wow. make sure to cover it with this, uh, this plastic dome. What this, it's, it's a two-fold kind of thing. It actually retains heat and it retains moisture. I planted these on uh, February 13th, day before Valentine's Day. Okay. And um, they've taken off like crazy. So what I, did you plant? What are we looking at that's oh, I've, coming up? All kinds of stuff. I've got spinach. This tray is mostly uh, herbs. Um, I've got parsley, sage, uh, rosemary, thyme, uh, spinach. I've got uh, sunflowers that haven't started to pop up because I wanted to do a little color, but um, tried to do mostly faster growing things. Like in the, the tray over here, um, I've got zucchini, bush beans, I've got uh, green onions and chives, I've got uh, Roma tomatoes, um, a variety of different things that you can actually start inside your kitchen uh, if you have a rack. All you got to do is make sure to get them sunlight. The dome does the rest of the work for you. Like I said, I planted these on the 13th of February and have not given them a drop of water since. So what if what if winter keeps going? What if the groundhog is right? Can we, if the can we grow these right, on a baker's rack for a while? You sure can. And a good way to do that is what I've done here is you actually take uh, one of these plugs out of here. We'll just grab a okay. Roman tomato. And uh, these are Jiffy Pots. It's a biodegradable pot that when you're ready and the ground is thawed out, you can actually plant this entire pot in the ground. The pot will break down. Gotcha. The plant continues to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, you pretty much just take your plug, make room for it in the Jiffy Pot, push it down in there. And what if about it soil? Pops out the side, have, that's fine. Do you have fine. to worry about fertilizer and soil? Or? Fertilizer is not a big deal right off the bat. It's, it's mostly about the soil. You want to use um, just a basic organic potting mix okay. or something like a seed starter mix. It's a little bit lighter, easier for the plants to root into. And when it comes to fertilizer, because I see you've got Osmocote. Yes. If you're doing anything because you're going to eat this stuff, do you have to pay attention to the kind you're using? You do. Okay. You do. Um, obviously, organics are the, are the way to go. You're not putting any kind of chemicals in there, especially if you right. intend to eat this, you want to feed it to the kids, that kind of thing. Um, the company Espoma, they, all of their products are all organic. Gotcha. So that's, that's really the way to go. I've got the Garden Tone. This would be something that you would use, actually, once you get them in the ground and the season started. A um, little bit of this goes a long way. You just grab a, a red Solo cup, dip it in the bag, and just give it a loose shake um, throughout the entire bed. One application, yeah. and you're done. Yep. So you were pointing out before we, we started, you could take this, this is a radish. Yes. You literally could grow a pot like this in the house and radishes would be here in how long? Four to six weeks. Come on. Uh, exactly. Uh, like I said, these, these are only, only the day before Valentine's yeah. Day. Um, if you have a pot that's at least 12 inches deep, that will accommodate the root system to where it actually bears fruit, so to speak. Okay. Um, the greens can be used on salads and things like that mm -hmm. in soups. And then the actual fruit of it, the, the root, um, same story, you can shave that into salads, you can use it uh, horseradish, all kinds of different stuff. So there's great pride in considering that we've done this from scratch. Because I know we exactly. can see you once we get to spring, we'll get tomato exactly. plants and all that stuff. But this is a pretty cool thing to do now. It is, yeah. it is. And you've started it all yourself, you know, you have company over for dinner and yeah. it's like, oh, here's a salad. Here we go. I grew <laughs> myself. Yeah. Right. Any exactly. sales going on right now? Uh, we have ceramic pottery on sale right now, 60% off um, mm. our, our entire selection of ceramic pottery that we have in, in, in uh, an area in the store. Um, and that, it's a pretty wide range to see. There's everything from strawberry jars yeah. that have multiple openings in them to large pots that you would put outside your entryway. Good stuff. So, well, thanks. Good to see you again. Good to be here. Thank you, yeah. sir. Oh, you should know that Farmer John's Home and Garden is located on Haggerty Road. They are just south of 12 Mile in Farmington Hills. For more information, check out their website, farmerjohnsgreenhouse.com. We'll be right back.